Hi, PB kids. Today, we're talking about letting go. What do you think of when you hear the words, let it go? Maybe you think of the lyrics from a particularly well-known Disney song. But before Frozen, let it go was a phrase I heard from my parents when there was something I had strong feelings about that I needed to let go in order to move forward. Let's say my friend was allowed to have ice cream for dinner, and that sounded really nice. So I had it in my head that the whole day would be better if I was allowed to have ice cream for dinner too. And then I asked my parents, and they said no. And I couldn't help but be really mad that I didn't get my way. But what could I really do about this? I I knew it probably was the right thing not to have ice cream for dinner, but my mad got in the way of having a good evening. So that's when my parents would encourage me to let it go. If I could release my upset, it would allow me to see all the good around me and have a happy time with my family for dinner. And I am the only one who could make that choice. So I did. I decided to let it go and make the choice to enjoy my dinner and time with my family, even if there was no ice cream. Sometimes it's really important to do something about the big feelings you have. Sometimes there are practical solutions and choices you can make to make situations and environments around you better and healthier. And when this happens, you should do it. But sometimes we have strong feelings and saying or doing something won't make the situation better. And the feelings we keep inside are hurting more than they are helping. So we have a choice to make. In situations like this, we have to make the choice to release the strong emotion and move forward. I like to do this by taking a deep breath, going for a walk, or removing myself from the situation that is making me upset. What do you do when you are trying to let a feeling go? When we make the choice to release these emotions, we are able to see more clearly and make better choices. We have control over the things we feel. Choosing to let things go can be hard, but this does bring us closer to God. When we release the things that are not healthy for us or those around us, it gives us the opportunity to see God's peace instead. We get the opportunity to make a choice that shows God's love, kindness, and forgiveness to ourselves and others. If it's hard to let things go, you're not alone. Most people spend their whole lives learning and relearning this lesson. It's okay to mess up sometimes when you're learning what to do with all the feelings you have inside. This week, watch your feelings and listen to your emotions. When there's a practical solution, find it. But if the healthiest choice is to walk away and let it go, be confident in releasing your upset and moving forward. God is moving through you and wants to use you to show others the love of God. Let's move forward in peace together this week. We have announcements. Until the end of February, Sunday School will be online only. While we will really miss being together in person, we believe this is the best choice to keep each other safe during this time. Each week we will be meeting via Zoom at 10.30. All previously scheduled PB Kids events for the months of January and February will also be held online. Zoom links will be sent the Saturday before each class. If you are not receiving emails from us and would like access to the Zoom links, reach out to Debbie. Remember, you are special and loved just the way you are by God. Have a great week.